Why do I always like walk into the frame drinking something? I don't know. Whatever. Yo, YouTube, what is up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel, man. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Today, today in this video, we're gonna be talking about my camera bag. What's in my camera bag 2021? This is my first time doing a video like this, and I'm pretty stoked to do it because I've actually upgraded a lot on some gear. And I just wanna show you guys, man, I haven't done a camera bag video, so I just thought, why not go ahead and do one? Because, you know, why not? So, let's talk about the bag first. I have the Eve case. It's called an Eve case. I don't know the specific name of it, but I do know this bag is discontinued. Oh, I guess it doesn't really matter what the name is. If you want to look it up though, all you have to look up is Eve case and you should see this bag. But we're going to start in this main part right here. So let's go ahead and open that up. See what we got. So I don't have my camera in here right now because obviously I'm filming with it, but I'll just show you guys what I have in here right now. So first thing I'll show you guys is I have the GoPro Hero 7 that stays in this back cubicle like right here. Keep that right there with the head mount on it just in case if I'm going on a hike or something or if I'm doing like another POV video, it's just right there. I can open my bag up really quick and just grab it really quick. Yeah, man, super convenient. I love this GoPro, but I want to get a new GoPro, but I can't really tell the difference quality wise between GoPros. They all pretty much look the same to me. Pretty cool though i love this thing man i use it a, a ton definitely get a lot of use out of this thing so that is the first thing and now we have this lunch box looking thing it literally looks like a lunch box but we're gonna open it up and i have like my batteries my cores i have my nd filter peter mckinnon polar pro nd filter keep at least like four or five of these on me just in case i'm on set and i am shooting with the ronin m i usually use my monitor when i'm shooting with the ronin m so i keep a good amount of these on me when i'm shooting music videos so you got that you have your microfiber cloths and then I have some electrical tape just in case I need to, you know, like tape down some cords on set if I'm shooting in a studio or something. So pretty cool. Put that back in there. Got my ND filter from Peter McKinnon. I have my step up rings on here because literally I have been trying so hard to get this 82 millimeter step up ring off of this ND filter and it will not come off. It literally won't come off. So I don't know what to do about that. So I just keep the step up rings on because I'm not going to try and screw it off and then end up breaking the ND filter. So, and then I have my card reader. Um, I use this for when I'm dumping footage. It's an Insignia card reader. I've had it for a pretty long time. And then right here, I have my Peak Design neck strap. Recently just got this. Like the last time I was in Atlanta, I literally just got this Peak Design neck strap. Pretty cool. I love it, man. I use it. I've been using it actually a lot like when I'm going out and taking photos and stuff. So pretty freaking sick, man. I love the way it feels on my neck. It's not like how the Canon straps are. They're like super rough and like, I don't know. It just hurts my neck when I'm using the Canon neck straps. All right, so that's it for the lunch box. And now we go over to this cubicle, or not cubicle, right here. I got my Bluetooth speaker, it's an iHome. Pretty simple like speaker, just a little speaker just in case. Just to have if I'm shooting outside or, I don't know, I just have this on me all the time. So, pretty legit. And then we have this case right here. This is actually the case that came with my 35 millimeter. I just decided to hold on to it just to keep certain stuff in there. Right now I have my I have my 50 millimeter in here. I actually use this lens like more than the 35. I love this lens. This is literally like 50 millimeters. I'd say it's probably my favorite focal length to be honest with you. All right, so that is pretty much it for the main part of the camera bag. Now we're gonna go in, I'm gonna flip this down and you have this little zipper right here I'm zip that down this is where I keep most of my like filters and I got my lav mic in here so I got the Cinepax filter that'll get in focus Cinepax filter it is the kaleidoscope I believe kaleidoscope yeah I use this thing a ton too man absolutely love this thing it just gives your footage a total different look and it's super eye-catching when you're using it so this thing is pretty sick man next filter we have is the prism lens effects dream filter I love this thing as well man I recently just picked this up actually definitely gives your footage a different look for sure yeah man it just it's just it's just a sick filter man prism lens effects makes so many dope filters and then i have this low pro case with my live mic in it keep that in there keep my live mic in there just in case i'm doing like an interview type of video or like a documentary type type deal so keep that in there and the next filter we have is the split diopter from prism lens effects I love this. I love this filter, man. I use this a lot as well. Um, that's it for the filters. So now we can go into zip this back up. This bag's so hard to zip up. All right, now we have this this part of the bag right here. Unzip that, and we have this little bag right here that I keep a lot of accessories in, or a decent amount of accessories. Set this bag down really quick. Show you guys. 
So what I keep in here is this Peak Design. First thing is this Peak Design bag that came with the neck strap. I actually put my like Ronin M accessories in here. Like you got your Allen wrench, base plates, and then everything else in here is like just Allen wrenches and your screws for your base plate. So I'll keep that stuff in that Peak Design bag. Our next thing is I actually keep this called, a, I think the name of the brand is Opteca. Don't quote me on that because I'm not sure if that's correct. I keep a fish eye lens in this thing just in case I wanna use it because I actually use this for a music video and I just love the way it looks. So I keep that in there. This fish eye lens was only 25 bucks, man. It's a lens attachment, so you attach it to your regular lens, but it's sick, man. I love it, I love the way it looks. And then I keep an extra Ronin battery in here. Um, I usually keep my other battery on the Ronin and then I keep my extra Ronin M battery in this bag right here. Now we have my G drive, my hard drive. Uh, keep this on me just in case I'm traveling, just in case I need to get any like assets off of this thing because I have a decent amount of assets on here and I store a lot of footage on here. So keep that on me at all times. I'm looking at, I've been looking at the monitor this whole video. And then I have this Godox GM55 Sun Hood for the Godox monitor that they sent me, which I will be doing a review on soon. It's currently on my tripod, so I can't show you guys, but yeah, it's pretty legit. That is it for this bag. And we only have one more little section back here. I keep this bag smart bag, keep that in there. That's where I store all my Canon batteries. I don't have most of them in here right now just because they're currently charging. Keep my Canon batteries in there. I keep some cords in there. And then I keep this book called Focus here too, just in case I want to do some reading. And I have yet to finish this book. I need to finish it ASAP. I love this book actually, man. My brother recommended me this book and it's sick, man. I love everything about it. It just talks about life. It's it's a super dope book, so. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for this bag. I only literally have one more section, and it's right here. This little side pocket right here. So what I have in here, or what I store in here, is this Pocket Juice portable charger. It's a 10,000 milliamp portable charger, and it's pretty sick, man. It'll charge your phone up real fast. I always keep this on me if I'm traveling, if I'm traveling uh, to Atlanta or anywhere. I keep this on me just in case there's no outlets to access, so. This thing comes in clutch, man. And then I have my um, notebook. I use this when I wanna write down notes and stuff. I actually have a lot of decent amount of notes in here. Sometimes I draw in here. Sometimes I just do a bunch of stuff in here just like if I have something on my mind and I just wanna write it down, I just jot it down in here. I even drew my logo. Yeah, man, so I do a lot of stuff in here, like notes and stuff. It's just easier for me to do instead of just getting on my phone because doing it electronically and like on paper is different. And I have a pen in here, keep that for the notebook. And then the very last thing is these Earfun wireless headphones. These are pretty legit, man. I use these all the time. Like literally all the time. It's a necessity for me. I love music, man. And yeah, man, I have to have these when I'm traveling or just moving around and taking photos or something. So keep these on me at all times. But yeah, guys, that is pretty much it for my camera bag video, man. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. It was my first camera bag video, man. So I just wanted to show you guys the gear that I have currently. I haven't really picked up any gear recently just because I've been happy with the stuff that I've been working with. The only new piece of gear I'd say I picked up is the Godox TL60. That's like the only new piece of gear that I've gotten. And obviously the R6, but I've had that for over a year now. So, and I love the R6 too, man. It's just a super dope camera. I don't see myself needing another camera, but I, but I was thinking about getting a second camera just so I can have a second angle. You know what I mean? Cause I couldn't do a top down. I wanted to do a top down shot for this video, but I couldn't because I only have one camera, which is totally cool, but I would love to have a second angle. So I may be getting another camera here soon. Who knows? But yeah, guys, that is it for this video, man. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys crush that like button. And drop me a comment down in the comment section and let me know what gear you guys are using because I would love to know. Make sure you guys click that notification bell to get notifications when I upload to this channel. And I am out of here, guys. Peace.